Hello, Fabulous DIYers, it's Deanna Tabois here, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how I used the fishtail detail from my last tutorial on a gown that I designed for my bridal collection. I will show you how I sewed a lace applique on a fishtail hem. But before we get started, this video is sponsored by Bright Tech Light View Pro with Rolling Base. I've been using this lamp for the past month and I have to say, it has been very useful with my sewing tasks. And here's why. This lamp has an adjustable arm that extends up and down and outwards. It pivots in any direction and the floor stand is very heavy and sturdy to help support the lamp while it's in motion and in use. Now at the top of the lamp is a handle for easy grabbing and you'll also see a warm and cool light setting that you can adjust. The off and on button is towards the back of the lamp and lastly there's a lid that flips up to expose the magnifying glass. Now this thing has helped me magnify my projects on things that I have difficult seeing. To turn on the lamp all you need to do is plug it in and then turn on the off and on button and tap to adjust the lighting of how you want it. Also, Bright Tech is offering 15% off your purchase when you shop at my link in the description box. So let's begin. I'm working with this beautiful embroidered lace fabric that is 54 inches wide. I folded the fabric edge to edge, selvage to selvage and lined up the scallop to match. So now that I have my fish tail cut out, it's gonna look like this, which is absolutely beautiful. And I have the lace going down this way, which is fine. Um, here is the end of the fish tail. See, you can see that it's round this way. Now, I'm not going to insert my fish tail without um, fixing the edge of here. So what I'm going to do is add a border. So um, since I didn't cut out the fish tail all the way to the edge at the scallop, I can use the scallop to create the border for my fish tail. So all I would have to do is simply just cut this out. And since I have three yards, it's basically enough for one side. And now I'm going to use the Light View Pro just to help me um, see better without straining my eyes and um, cut away some of this edge that I missed when I was cutting it just freely. And I'm just going to go back and just clean up those edges because I want it to really curve nicely on the edge of my fishtail. So I'm just going to uh, take some of this lace that kind of restricts the lace from curving, especially on the inner parts. So now this is cut out and it's time for me to place it onto the edge of the fishtail. So I'm going to start from this edge right here and then bring it all the way down. 
And all you have to do is just place the lace where it complements that area. So I want to have the scallop on the edge edge. So I'm going to just place it like this. Right like that. I want to make sure that it's completely um, camouflages to the edge of the side seam where I'm going to have to connect it. But for the most part, this is how it's supposed to look. So all you have to do is just adjust it and curve it along the edge, making sure it complements and blends in well with the edge. So this is what it looks like. And now I'm just gonna have to stitch. Now you can do this by hand or you can do it by machine. So I'm gonna do this on the machine and sew it down. So now this is complete and this is what the scallop edge fishtail hem looks like and it is ready now to be installed. Now if you want to see how I install this, I have a tutorial on how to install a fishtail, how I created it and um, how to install. I'm going to go ahead and install this into the bridal gown so you can see the final uh, look of the gown once it's complete. And I installed one side of the lining and the side seam is open so it's much easier to install. And here you can see that I'm getting ready to install the second side and this is how I install it. I like to install my linings one side at a time, one seam at a time. So I connected the fishtail together, the seam that goes all the way down from the back. And then I'm going to go ahead and stitch this up so that way this can close. And then from there, I go and continue to stitch up the zipper. And then stitch this onto here so that way it can be clean like this. So here is the final bridal gown and this is how the fishtail looks when it moves. Be sure to check out Bright Tech's Light View Pro because I think it will be helpful for your sewing task. Also Bright Tech is offering 15% off your purchase 
when you shop at my link in the description box. So head over there and get yours today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos like this. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.